Good evening ladies and gents of the Meaty 69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we have Hold My Baguette. Yes, Hold My Baguette. Um, seeing as we have two French replays for you today, I thought I would name it Hold My Baguette. So first up we have a double bat chat driven by Scoob. Uh, he's in a platoon with one of his clan, uh, clan mates driving another bat chat. And this is probably one of the... One of the better bat chat games I have seen. They work so well together. Him and his platoon mate driving the two bat chats. Uh, the bat chat has recently been buffed, um, which I was calling out for a buff. It needed a buff considering the Sheridan was OP and the Vickers was OP, and it kind of left the bat chat behind. Um, not it, it was. It's always been a good tank, um, but there was no reason to uh, to play it really when you had better light tanks. So Castilla. He has pushed the top. This poor leopard, uh, God knows what he is doing. He has just been torn uh, apart and Scoob takes the first kill. So that is one good tank uh, out of the game so far. You can see the T62 here now trying to run away. The poor bastard got uh, got tracked. And now again with the double back chats, you can see they are working so well together. Scoob's got one shell left and he now has help from his IS-7. Unfortunately, his platoon mate has got absolutely wrecked. Uh, the IS-7 takes out the T-62 and now they are going to start pushing. But there is a Conway there. Need to be careful of the Conway. And of course, uh, clearing him or shooting him does scare him so he has to drop. So that's him out of the way for a short period of time anyway. And now they're going to go and focus the T-92E1. His platoon mate is trying to chase him. Uh, is he going to get the kill? Uh, he's on a reload. There goes the Death Star. So it's now a four versus five. The T-92E1 is going to get gone. Uh, and Scoob, no, his platoon mate takes the kill. So it's three versus four. Very quick battle at the moment. Uh, three versus four. You can see the E5 at the other side of the map. You can see they're trying to, uh, trying to penetrate him. But from this distance, it is very hard to penetrate an E5. Uh, there goes the IS-7 from the Death Star, so it's now just him and his platoon mate versus four tanks. And of course, his platoon mate is very, very low hit points, and there is still a lot of hit points up for grabs. So he's got, his platoon mate's gone left, he's gonna go and right, and hopefully they're gonna try and pincer this uh, Conway, but luckily for the Conway, he has actually gone past the point, so they can't uh, can't both come from the same direction. But of course, the the bat chat is very, very quick, and his platoon mate did a very good job there in getting that damage and staying alive. But he's not gonna stay alive for too much longer. They're gonna reset the camo, they're gonna try and reset the camo. Uh, maybe his platoon mate I don't know what he's doing at the moment. Uh, I thought he was going to go up. Um, so they are spotted. So he's just going to wait uh, wait at the back here to see what what tank comes. And here they both come. There's the uh, there's the Chieftain. Nice shot on the Chieftain. You can see him rocking backwards and forwards. Trying to get the Chieftain to shoot. Uh, but he does not shoot. And now he's going to go for his platoon mate. So his platoon mate needs to get out of there. The platoon mate has rushed the Death Star. And now Scoob is going to try and go for that Death Star. He is on a reload. Uh, there does go his platoon mate. He needs to get one more showing. Can he get the shot of course he can get that shot for his third kill now 4.9k damage just two tanks left alive this chieftain and the e5 so it's not going to be easy for scoop uh two good heavies two of the best heavies in tier 10 in fact uh two of the quicker reloading ones the armor profile was really really good on them and, and of course uh the dpm is very good on both of them as well so nice bounce there from from the uh from the chieftain and he now has to be even more careful because the e5 so he's going to just try and relocate he might take a shot from the chieftain um but he, he had to get out of there because if the e5 starts rushing with the chieftain while he's in that corner he's going to find himself in, in a horrible situation now he's got one shell left has to make it count and he does make it count for his fourth kill 6.5k damage he's still got plenty of hit points left but of course the e5 also also got over 2,000 hit points left so it's going to be very very uh, very tough to get this win two and a half minutes left on the clock and I love what he's doing here now he's gone to relocate and he's gone to flank around the map and of course even with two and a half minutes uh, left on the clock with when you're in a bat chat with the speed of the bat chat you can get around the map very very quickly now is he going to go the long way or is he going to uh, take the shortcut and go right here now no he's going to take the the 
not the long, long way, uh, but he's going to go round by the cap area. Now, it's going to be a shame if he comes up here and the E5 is going to be just sit here waiting, sat here waiting for him. He's actually hoping that he would have gone to where he was and hopefully get behind. But he doesn't. He finds him. He does track him, does manage to track him. He does take a shot in return. He's got one shell remaining and he does get that shot off. But he only has now one APCR left so he has to make the most of it because of course the uh, a minute and a half left and while you're shooting heat you're doing less DPM but he's still on 7.4k damage does he reload and rush with the heat or does he just take his time and try and find the right time to, to rush this guy he could still take a shot maybe two if the E5 low rolls um, but definitely two if the E5 is smart enough to use HE so me personally i would probably be rushing right now um but that's why i don't do this much uh, this much damage so he's just going to wait for his opportunity he's going to wait for uh, he's trying to reset his camo you can see and as soon as he does reset his camo it's not for long he does make that push and he does get a shot from the e5 he gets one shell there one shell into the rear he's got one he left or he's got one shell remaining he is going to use it with the he and now he's going to reload the heat now that's smart play because if he was to have apcr loaded it would only load one shell so loading up that heat is the smart uh, the smartest of moves so one shot there he is now going to take a shot but he has got this guy on the reload and he does take him out for his fifth kill lovely lovely game there very very nice indeed and a well deserved ace he only blocks one shot there but he does end on eight thousand six hundred damage he gets the uh, mastery top gun high caliber he gets the kolobanov he gets the Radleys, he gets it all, and of course, six kills between him and his platoon mate. 2,800 damage for his platoon mate, so that's uh, nearly 11 or over 11,000 damage between them. Very, very well played. Next up, we have the Fosh 155, driven by Mike, and Winter Malinovka, uh, he's gone to the right side. Now, the Fosh is the new YOLO wagon. The Fosh is the new 263. It's very, very troll armor. And for me, it's great for a frontline tank. Um, as long as you've got support. And you can see Mike here. He is going as frontline as you possibly can. He's going to use the speed of the tank to get into position for these tanks to when they are crossing to get that nice shot and you can see he's trying to uh, side scrape now it is working he does get some uh, block damage there he has one shell left and he's just waiting for that opportunity to use that shell before he reloads and of course the amx 50b there is side on and he does manage to get that shot but he does take a shot in return so he does need to now i mean he probably didn't need to waste uh, getting shot or, or risk being shot this early on especially as now they are one tank down so he's just going to wait you can see he's in that side scraping position so he can get the shot off and then just go forward so he is now hiding he's got a high roll loaded it'll be lovely if he can get that max roll and of course <laughs> even better he gets the ammo rack goodbye is8 so that has now pumped his damage up quite uh quite a lot so 3.1k damage with only a minute and a half gone uh and he's got one kill oh my god said the is8 yeah he probably wasn't expecting that ammo rack well don't come out sideways and you probably wouldn't be ammo racked so nice spot there on the waffle getting the kill now he is being rushed by the 50b he could probably hate to the side of him given the chance but he's not going to risk it he's going to go for the damage and he's going to go for the uh, the face hug so it's going to be hard for the 50b to be able to penetrate i mean you can penetrate the front of the uh Fos, just switch to pramo and a lot of tanks especially in tier 10 can pen the front um the bottom plate is very, very small, so it's quite hard to get the bottom plate. Now, he does take a shot. He's only on 800 hit points now, but he does manage to get the kill to bring him up now to 4.6k damage. He's blocked 1,100 damage, which is more hit points than he currently has, so that's a good job, and he's on three kills. Now, again, he's being very risky. He's playing it very, very aggressive. He wants that kill uh, on the... FE4005, sorry. Brings him down to a one shot. Is he going to use the HE to just clear this guy? 26 uh, hit points. I would probably load up the HE if I'm honest. Um, he's just going to wait. He's only on 26 HP. Come on. Uh, but while he's waiting, his team is dying. And he is going to load up the HE. And that was a lovely, lovely shot for his fourth kill. Now it is a three versus three. His teammate there 
is uh, in the middle of pretty much every tank. But it's good because he manages now to get behind the most dangerous tank, which is the Jaegeru. And that is his fifth kill. Uh, so there goes the FE215B. He gets one more shot in and he is now on a reload. 6.3k damage. And he's now going to try and just reset his camo. And he's going to go and try and get next to his, uh, his other... TD. So at least if they come around the corner while he is uh, there, he's going to hide behind or he's going to use that uh, TD for his protection, which is the waffle. Um, so good decision there. They are winning on supremacy points. They do have cap A and of course the two heavy heavies are nowhere near the cap A. They might try and get C. Uh, they have to try and do something because they are they are losing quite a lot on supremacy points. And yes, they are getting C, but because they are out getting C, he Mike has gotten himself into a position position where he can just reset the cap and again pump out that damage 6.9k damage can he get that shot off yes he can 7.5k damage now uh, he's done a, a very very good job so far now it, once he reloads his shell he can take out either of these he can either go for the k91 take him out with two shells or he can go for the is4 and hopefully well he will be able to take him out in one shell as long as he doesn't uh, low roll so the is4 comes out sideways and mike is there to uh, to clear him without taking any damage in return, which is great because he can he can almost take a clip now from this K91. Has to be very careful because if the K91 has reloaded, he can actually take him out with all three shells. He has to bounce a shot. He needs to bounce a shot, and there is that bounce. Now the K91 will not be able to take him out, especially when he bounces his second shot. Uh, he does pen the first shot, and now Mike should just about have him on the reload. He is going to shoot HE. He's He's only on 90 hit points and he definitely should reload before him so great play there from mike 2160 block damage he gets the rezany medal seven kills he kills them all eight thousand six hundred and fifty four damage well played mike well played indeed very very good game and well played scoob in your bat chat thank you guys for sending me those replays in i enjoyed them really really well done and i will see you all in the next one bye bye